What? I could have sworn. Aha! I see you. Saya. That's not a blue jaw. Damn it. Rare monster, I guess. And he's alone. Double the combat arts, I suppose. See that morale? This frog is tough. So, everybody combat arts again. Ouch. Combat arts, you're doing nothing. Keep your HP up, guys. really want to understand how I can tell the difference between these two. I know one costs 7 AP, one costs 24. I'm guessing one of them is gonna employ more combat arts and the other one is, is not, right? So... Oh yeah, he looks like he's going down. Finish him off. Yes! Screw you, say a fucking demon frog. Oh yeah. Nice. Hey, and welcome back to the last remnant. It's been a little while. And I've taken the um, I've taken the opportunity of going through the Gaslin Caves more than one occasion. Um, I've done a bit of farming, basically, and trying to 
look for some rare spawns from rare monsters. Um, as you've just probably seen, did manage to get a sort of a weird demon toad looking thing. Um, I also went back to the city, to Athlum, sold uh, some captured monsters, and that's about it. So, onwards to Solopolis. City. People to talk to. This is Solopolis's main street, Grant's Way. You see the palace down the way, do you not? That's where our ruler, Duke Cubine, Cubine resides. Along the streets are shops offering every earthly delight, so you should take a look. I most definitely will, my good man. Also, it's been like four days since I've I've done a, an episode of this. My apologies. It's mostly the holidays. Merry Christmas, by the way. Uh, Forks armor. Sure, let's look at what you have. Interesting, you have different weapons. So this is just a straight upgrade, this rapier. From my... Um, my regular sword and whatever my, my sword was. is a broadsword, I think. Versatility. Interesting. Ophidian Choker. Neckwear made from scales. Warrant a booster. Uh, magic defense. I mean... Nah. There's some things that have yet to be unlocked. Now, this rapier definitely seems worth it. I'm gonna get it. But it's a good cue to sell my broadsword, which I can't really... I mean, it's only 25 gold, to be honest, I don't need the money, and it's not like it's taken up room, so I'll, I'll wait. Besides, I've had people um, in my party ask for items in the past, some, uh, such as like a defense bracelet or something. So they might ask me for a weapon. Let's just see if there's... Uh, so we talked to the friendly man. Uh, let's talk to the next people. These two first, then to that critical quest guy over there, whatever he is. Female Magus. Weapons, items, accessories, components. You can find anything down the street. My favorite is... Oh, certainly the high-grade medicinal herbs imported from the south. Once you get a whiff, you'll be sold for life. Are you sure there's a medicinal herbs, lady? Smarty Pants CD. Isn't the view amazing? There isn't any other place in the world that's covered with a remnant like this. <clears throat> I guess so. I mean, it's floating broken pieces of this, whatever this was. Every one of those crystals floating in the air is the remnant Umber Marici. Okay. <clears throat> so long as Lord Cubine has bound the remnant, those crystals will glow. And the people of the town will be happy and healthy. The might and glory of Solopolis is linked to the Umber Marici for certain. Alright, dude. And that's another quest dude over there. Warrior Woman. And Gris's components. What do you have here, Gris? Copper ore and stone. Um Don't ask me why, but I'm gonna buy one of each. It's just, you know, I can afford it, and I don't know whenever people ask me for stuff, so... In a way, just to explore and see what, um... I'll be asked for. Let's talk to the warrior lady. Huh? What are you doing here, old lady? Old lady? What? Well, excuse me, do I even know you? No, oh, oops. I thought you were someone else. Oh, he thought it was Emma. I mean, she kind of does look like Emma. Yeah, I'll make sure I have the right person next time, sure. Sorry. Let's lie this time. Of course, that's another condition that there's never a second. Sure. What if I talk to you again? Calling someone old lady is rude and inconsiderate, and especially when they aren't, they aren't old. Yeah, I mean, I agree, kinda. 
Who are you, little dude? An apprentice craftsman. Oh. Hey, what are you doing? Who's that guy? What? What the? Excuse me? A thief? But the store isn't ready yet. There's nothing here to steal. Uh, alright. A customer, eh? I hate to tell you this, but the shop's not ready for business yet. Let's see, the first thing I'll need is some light metal. Can't do customization without it. Time to hit the pub. Um, what? Light metal. Interesting. What if I talk to you again? Are you gonna say no? You're not. Uh, was the copper or light metal? Red metal. No. What's that? That's the herbs, I guess. No cure leaf. We have 24 of those. Resto leaf. None of those. Uh, let's buy a couple. Um, so I figured it out that the way the Restoration arts in the middle of a fight work is actually used kind of like uh, two different types of herbs together or stuff like that. Like depending on what they're doing, they're gonna use your uh, your components. So it's not enough to just have a, a cure leaf. I mean, you can see like uh, to the left it says like unit rush restorative herb two uses that. Um, so restorative herb uses that, but uh, it also uses a relaxing herb. So the, com the combo of cure leaf and relaxing herb uh, gets. Uh, you know, gets the healing effect basically in the middle of a fight. Not entirely really sure what the uh, what the rest do so far, so not much left for us here. I guess we'll keep going ahead. Lombaro district district. So the Grand Sway is a boulevard that runs down the middle of the town, lined with shops on both east and west. Uh, so both east and west. We knew that. Also, do you notice how the the city looks like it's laid uh, laid out on a sword? That's interesting, right? Like the palace is on the hilt, or whatever the hell that is, and the whole the whole Grand Sway is just running down the length of the blade. The Lombero District, the Glowed Remnant Umber Marici defines this residential area. Many of the residents are very familiar with the area, as most have been here since birth. Okay. So, residential area. The lady we talked to. Amicable girl. This is the Lombero district of Celopolis. Further down the street, you can see the guild. It's a place where many skilled adventurers gather. Over here is the Amber Tavern, the local pub. It's very popular with some types. Uh huh. I don't mean how you think. Apparently, the beautiful barkeep is the Amber's big draw. Another one? I. Alright. Uh, I'm getting the feeling like barkeeps are. are central part of these cities for some reason. So another dude to talk to down that way. Another one to talk to down this way. Um, this part's closed off, so let's see what info we can get out of it. It's by talking to this big guy over here. Squintyama. You hear from Athlum? Uh, how you like seeing a real city? So look, Lace ain't nothing like your backwater hole. Oh, that's, that's nice of you. At least you make a good guard dog. Ho ho. Mm -hmm. It's thanks to Athlum that those gore scumbags don't try anything. Wow, that's, that's a pretty rude guy. At least if he did, they'd have to go through you first. Oh, oh. I'll keep up the good work, Athlum schmucks. And I don't even hail from Athlum. And I kind of dislike you. Let's see. Talking to... What? Legend loving child. What? A long, long time ago, here in Solopolis, there was a really pretty stone. It was so pretty that people were totally mesmerized by it. Enough to do evil things. Pretty soon, the town was in trouble. But one day, a traveler came through town and saw the stone and bound it. From then on, it didn't do anything else bad, and everyone was happy. What? Well, you still don't know what I'm talking about. It's the story of the Umber Marici. Man, you're stupid. Everybody here knows, everybody here knows that. Okay, legend-loving kid. 
Thanks for the history lesson. So if we go down this way, there's another guy to talk to. The admiring woman. His Highness Lord Cubine may look young, but he is quite adept with mystic arts. I have heard there are rabble rousers within the Gore Castle Guard who are so afraid of his strength that they spread rumors about it. Outlandish claims like Lord Cubine is an alien or some academy produced magical boy or something. Ridiculous. Of course, what else could be expected to come from a town like that? Those uncouth boars are lucky to be able to string two sentences together. It's certainly not worth worrying about what they think. If you say so. People have strange concerns, I guess. Molly Select Shop. Just out of curiosity, what do you sell here? Oh. Sell a Palayan. That's an expensive, uh, tall pole. Looks pretty good, too. Effect military issue. I wonder what the effect military issue thing does. Uh, that's a shield, I guess. It's better for magic evasion than it is for physical evasion. That's a nice shield, once again. Pretty expensive. Awesome defense. Earring. Uh, it's an accessory to boost physical defense. Uh, sure. An amulet. Accessory want to raise AP. Hmm. Okay. I'll keep this in mind. No need yet. So, we have a guild door. Let's go into this guild in this town, see if there's any... If there are any units that we would like. To, to keep in reserve, because we, we already have our maximum units of three in our party, right? And so far that's our limit. Let's see what these, uh, this season adventure has to say. As so you're looking to pick up some guild tasks, do eh? You don't think you can do them? Nah, don't worry. I'll take you under my wing. If it looks like it'll go well, then own it. If the going gets tough, run away! That's some number one tough strategy read right there, so don't you forget it. Sure. I'm good at running away. See, you are a veteran. Different towns attract different types of adventures to their guild. If you aren't finding the type you're looking for here, try checking a different town. Once you visit a few other guilds, you understand. Yeah, well, this is my second. All right, guild officer. Are you looking to expand your party? Yes, sir, I am. So you can see I have four units out of ten, but I can only deploy three right now. So who do you have? You have Sandy. And Sandy is a Mitra or human fighter. This is pretty nice. Her arts are pretty straightforward. She can heal and she can um, she can dual hand you over the head with whatever item she's she has. In this case, a katana. And Semri. Samri is an expert fighter, a Yama expert fighter. And his arts are, they can do one-handed and two-handed as well. And he's a combat bastard sword. Now, so that's, that's pretty good. There's two straight-up physical fighters. I already have one. Um, I forget the name of that guy. But it, ideally, when I am able to field more units, I could have, like, a separate, really good physical uh, combat party. So... Just get these two guys as well and keep them in reserve until then. Not available. Sure. What about your guild tasks? So, eight spiders in Blackdale. Blue jaws in Gasoline Caves. Still didn't manage to find any. Three copper ore. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the, weren't we able to buy the three copper ore just over those guys? In fact, I think I'll do that now. Sorry for the backtracking, but before we go and uh, head into the pub, which I have a sneaking suspicion is going to advance whatever plotline I'm, I'm currently on right now. If I show up to the guild of three copper ore, maybe I'll get some, some neat stuff. So where did I get the copper ore from? Uh, this little guy over here. 
Yeah, uh, I already have one. So let's buy two more. Ah, I can't afford one. I can only afford one. We'll buy it anyway. Uh, let's see if we can sell anything to get more money. So the broadsword. Yeah, I just sell the broadsword. And we need 100 more gold. What can we sell for 100 gold? Um, a blueprint of some kind. Oh, we have three copper. No, we have two copper. I'm sorry. Beastman bone. Plante food. We have a bunch of these Fenris horns. So why don't we sell some Fenris horns? Uh, we can sell them. Well, 13, 14, there you go, screw that, I'm holding five of those. I don't know what they're useful for now, so I can always get more. These are basically from my my time spent in uh, in grinding gasline, uh, gasline caves. I'll buy one of these. All right, so we're completely out of gold now. Absolutely completely out of gold. What's, what's that? Oh, he wants to talk real badly. Oh, wait for me, guy. Just a minute. His little icon was different on the map as well. But I, w I really want to go and trade his, trade in this copper ore. See what happens when I go to the the guild. All right, Union of the Golden Chalice. Hey, guy, I got copper ore. So submit report. A blueprint of some kind and a thousand gold. So that kind of make made it perfectly worth it. I have no idea what the obtain catapult. Oh, information. Sure. I do wonder. Interesting. Got a catapult formation. Change mm. formation. Catapult improves of mystic attack of back ranks, but reduces attack and defense of lead ranks. Well, I don't know. I think I'll stick with the arrows of Athlon for now. Let's go to the pub. Hmm. Hello? The Lords hold a meeting of the Congress every couple of years at the sacred city of Elysian. You know, at the center of the continent. But from here, it's a long, hard journey. If you're planning on heading to Elysian, make sure you're stuck for a long trip. Sure. Jim that said, click be my girlfriend. No. What is she wearing? It's the same guy. Also, what the hell? I apologize for that. That was Discord. If you're using Discord, make sure to have your text-to-speech turned off when friends are talking. So that's the same guy. How'd you get in here, little buddy? Rock keeps admirer. The rumors going around in Grant's way is that lots of soldiers have been gathering in Nagapur. You don't think they're getting ready for a war or something, do you? Even if they were, my lovely Tyrant Keep, you have no need to worry. I would protect you with my life. Okay. Ah, uh, gossipy girl. Hello. Some weird things have been lurking around Slopolais, giving people the willies. That's the latest scoop, anyway. Ah, I've seen it. No, it's terrible. It's cute. Or, or what if it was terribly cute? Some strange animal or something has been seen around the stores in Grand's Way. Oh, I thought, yeah. 
I remember that guy. Oh, if uh, something like that were to come here, I don't know what I'd do. Uh, right, time to talk to you. I'm opening my customization shop soon, but I'm not very confident in my skills. I was gonna practice on my gear, but since I know it's mine, I can't get into it. Will you help me out? Um, light metal is a good component to hone my customization skills with. I gotta open up shop soon, but would you mind fetching me some? Harvesting points? What is that? It should look like this. Oh, interesting. Got it? Good. Yeah. One more thing. You obviously, you obviously have harvesting tools, right? Right? What? You don't? No, that's a problem. I have some, but they're a family heirloom and priceless. Sorry. What the? There's that guy then. He's interested in harvesting points. He wants to go too. Uh, well, I mean, if he really wants to. See you soon. Oh, we got a quest. Mr. Diggs. And we're back at the Gastling Caves, everybody. What a big surprise. I've perhaps spent a couple of hours in here trying to get those um, blue jaws to spawn. The mysterious thing, Mr. Diggs, has joined the party. Harvesting is now available at har harvest points within dungeons and other locations. The number of times Mr. Diggs can harvest is displayed as the Diggs count. The count is reset on returning to the world map. Okay, got five Diggs. So, I read up a bit, right, on, on Blue Jaws, and it turns out if you go and stand up here on that ledge and you look out into the distance, you see a little ledge across the, the pond here, the one that's a bit higher up. Now, technically, that gets rare spawns every now and again, and you can sort of see him jumping around there, up and down, the PC version at least, but nothing this time. But we'll go through the caves, sure. Um, I'm not... In Entirely certain on how to use digs, but ah, there's a harvest point. No, oh, just hit A. That's all right. You're pretty useful, I guess. A very light, light natural alloy, not a very hard substance, an easy process. Sure. Oh, that was it. Apparently so. You brought me some light metal. Now I can practice. Thanks, kid. Hey, cool fountain gold. I'll meet you back in my customization shop on Grant's Way. I'll be waiting. Oh, and in case you didn't know, there are harvesting points everywhere. You should keep an eye out for them. Complete a quest, Mr. Diggs. Sure. Mr. Diggs' status has been added to the party menu. I'll check you out. What are you? Power, we power technique, we technique, instinct, we driller. Okay. What are you? Back to his shop. Okay. We're going this way, right? Yeah. Back to Grant's way. And customization shop. So, oh, you have something important to say, soldier person guy? Well, after I talk to the guy at the shop. I, yeah, okay. I can strengthen your weapons and shields. All it'll take is a few components and some cash. Interesting, and I can create equipment either, so crafting, right? I say customize. Is there anything I can do to my rapier? I can turn it to a combat rapier with gasoline, copper, light metal, and an avian, or three avian fiend talents. Very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Doesn't really change the model. That's fine. But uh, can I create anything? 
<clears throat> Custom short sword formed by crude stonework. Specific for Xeres. Wow, what a high attack stat. That is insane. Dude, this is pretty cool, actually. Hide and equip up little gear. This is really cool. There's a bunch of these items, man. Oh, these are rare. Different rarities. Alright. We don't really have enough. Oh, can we do anything with our shield? Combat kite shield. No. Alright, so definitely keep an eye out for resource nodes. Did you have anything to say? Mm, dull face, silly outfit, slouch post posture. Well, I mean, you're not wrong. Either. You aren't Rush Sykes, are you? Um, yeah, why? What? Impudent little. Lord David put out a summons. He said he needed to speak with you about something. Hurry to castle. No, oh, Jesus. Lord David. I mean, we're in civil place. You're a civil play soldier. Are you, a, are you a spy for Lord David? Alright. So then. We've gotten Mr. Diggs. And it's time to head back to Athlum and see what the hell Lord David wants. Since, uh, well, I mean, we kind of did leave him in a, in a fit of angsty teen rage. So I guess we'll go back and see uh, what David wants in the next episode.